parents, they were for the change, they liked it. Um, personally, I also did, because I got to meet new people from other schools sooner, and I got to uh, make new friends. Yes, and of course they were nervous, but it was exciting to see a new building and, like you said, lots of new friends. Okay. There were so many clubs. Was. I was in like, there was cooking and crafts after yeah, school where you like make something or cook something. Cooking and crafts is probably the most popular yeah. club I've ever. They always needed two rooms. It was We're so up to fun. three now. <laughs> also student council, which I loved. It was like, you, I felt like a leader and it was just a lot of fun. Um, okay. Intramural sports for sixth graders, yeah. so, since they can't be on the sports. I think there's definitely something um, for everyone, especially with all the clubs. We have tons of clubs for everyone, for creative minds or even student council for the more like outgoing people and more leaders in the school that can really like show uh, and set a good example. But we also have like drawing clubs, you know, and also our sports are really good. Lots of sports teams and intramurals for gym. And whether or not you make the team, like there's always another score for you to do because like there are sports where they accept you no matter what. To like have a class where you're not so worried about like getting everything done and studying and like stressing that you're not gonna do well, but instead you're learning like real life skills and you get to like make things and cook things. Are you still enjoying those types of classes? Hundred percent. Yeah. I love tech. Like people always complain about it, but I loved it. I love like getting the hot glue gun, putting things together, yes. like, building them. I like the end result. It was so much fun. I think the only person at Burner who doesn't like the hot glue gun is the nurse. <laughs> yes. I personally really like the wheels classes, especially like facts or um, tech, because uh, I like doing like some handiwork and then, like it's always fun making like some sort of dish with your friends, make some cookies or something like that. I really enjoy like with facts and tech, it's like really hands on. Like you get to like work together and like when you're in those classes, like some people are like either left out because they don't have friends like in the classes. So you could like become, make new friends and like work together. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I feel like it really teaches you how to work as a team with your friends, which is even better. And it's also a good break from like your core classes and like that can be stressful. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, um, at Burner, we really use learn how to use like the mood meter, like we did, like how we made the prototype that, that we showed to you. Yeah. It so. really learn showed us how to, like regulate our emotions, and like if you're like you're like stressed, you can just like take a deep breath and just like take yourself out of the moment for a second to bring yourself back in, so you can have full attention. I definitely. Also. You don't know where some classes are, you're struggling a little bit, always go to a teacher, guidance counselor, possibly. Yeah. Guidance counselors are probably the best thing there. I'm going to tell you something that definitely relieved a lot of stress for me in MS 101. They gave me, they showed me Google Calendar that allowed me to time manage my what time real well. Good. Uh, I know when stuff gets really stressful, I like to go down to like my guidance counselor to have a little talk with them. It's a great strategy. Yeah, you know, there's always PPS for people who need it as well. I think that you guys are doing a great job, personally. Wow, you're very kind. <laughs> I remember in sixth grade, like I would always like get stressed and mad at myself if I wasn't doing good enough. Right. And like my teacher, like went to extra help with me, like helped me like get better, and was just like, just breathe, take a second. Wow. And, like you don't need to like get it done right now. Like it's just like steps that build you up to like understand. I felt like instead of them just, just like saying do this, do this, do this, like they like talked to us about it, like told us stories that related to it, which helped us understand. Like I did feel loved in that school. That's wonderful. I think that it being every other day is, is much, I thought it was better because I thought if you had it every day, it'd just be too much. Like, it's, it's hard. It's a hard class to take, but it's also very fun. Yeah. But, you know, having it every day, I think it's just going to be like, way too much information to take in as a sixth grader. I hear, I hear what you're saying. I mean, I see both sides. I also think that having it every day would also be important because it helps you um, learn more about the foundation that would be needed like in the future. I just know like today, the other day my teacher was like, oh, do you never learned the ABCs in sixth grade Spanish? And we were like, no, you never got the time to learn that. So I think definitely if we had it every day, we'd be able, be able to learn. Like to like, those are like two classes that like build the foundation for like when you're going to have them in seventh, eighth and just forever like yeah so it's important to get the idea and understand it 
I feel like it was a necessity because in sixth grade, like I just felt like I needed more time. Uh -huh. Like I, I felt like the extra period really helped with that. Like if I wasn't just like quite finished, I wanted to improve more. Mm -hmm. Like the extra period helped me like build up. I'm sure I was very nervous because it's their first time in the middle school, but in my experience, I think they did well and prepared me for high school. Man. Just yeah. for me, going from. 20 minutes lunch, 20 minutes recess to just 40 minutes lunch. It's like, I mean, I liked it, but like, I have to get outside, I have to move, you know? I think, well, I'm kind of mixed. So 40 minutes, I feel like it was good. You got to eat, socialize, and then you could do some work if you like wanted to at lunch. But at the same time, like you said, like getting out is like still something they would, would be interested in. I feel like giving the students maybe the option, like some kids will want to stay outside and do work, while some would want to go outside and play a sport. So I think that would definitely be great. All right. Did you learn? How did how did your experience at Burner help grow you into this role now? Um, I would say it taught me how to be vocal and like advocate for myself. And besides just the school, even the sports taught me how to be a leader, mm -hmm. and that like inspired yeah. me to join student council and like share my opinions and be a part of like the decision making. I would add facts class in every grade. Facts class in seventh grade. It's a very fun and hands-on class in sixth grade, and I enjoyed it like a lot because I had science first period and I was stressful enough. Like, you have to, like Dylan said, uh, at one point or another, you're gonna have to know how to like cook. Like, <laughs> <laughs> unless you're gonna be like buying food every day and from outside, and I don't think a lot of people want that. So, okay. The facts are very hands on. You also learn how to cook with other people, and like the wheel classes. So that sometimes they can also like help you realize that oh, I really want to do this as a career. Like some people might want to be a cook, maybe like a technician. Okay. There's, There's no, no place like burner. burner.